Hey everybody, um, I've got a uh, 2023 uh, Polaris Crew uh, side by side. Hold on just a moment here. Okay. And uh, not too long ago, I was using my winch. Uh, mid use, I heard a pop and the winch quit working. Okay. So my first thought was check all the fuses. Um, Look, uh, thought maybe there might be a fuse in line for the winch itself. There was not. Um, thought maybe it was my switch. Checked all the connections there. I had power. The problem was, uh, what I found was, I at this. So you got your negative here. You've got your positive. Now these come directly from the battery. Okay, this is power all the time directly from the battery. All right, and. Whenever I put my multimeter on, I put the multimeter on. Hold on. I'm getting like 0 0.1 volts, which obviously is not enough to uh, the winch. So I did some research online. I tried to. I went into the forums on Facebook. Um, I did all kinds of old forums, and what I found was there's actually a fuse at the fuse box. Now on the on the Polaris's, they're back underneath on the cruise. They're underneath the uh, seat by the battery. So on your two seaters, are going to be right next to the. It's going to be next to the battery under the front seat. Back seat. Pull up this. So you have your fuse box here. I checked every one of those fuses. Sometimes people said that, you know, check your accessory if you check different fuses. Um, and even though they might test okay, they may not be okay. And I did, I switched out every single one of those. However, there is this big guy here, right there. It comes right off of the, the positive side of your battery, right there. And it is a 200 amp fuse that is not serviceable. So how you're supposed to fix this is you get a, a new, it's a new line that runs all the way down the center of your console up in front. So you'd have to drop those bottom pans or the bottom covers to change that out completely. And it's not cheap and it's not easy to find either. So what the suggestion was is run a brand new one all the way back. Well, again, you'd have to go down that center uh, drive shafts your shaft drives and everything else too. So what I found was, what was suggested was to get a circuit breaker as opposed to a fuse. So I found this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. And what it is, it's a 200 amp actual breaker. So what I'm gonna do, and it's probably not gonna be easy, is I uh, remote take the battery out so I have more room to that to that um, that line which there's not a lot of room in there and I'm gonna put a circuit breaker in there that is waterproof um, instead of trying to uh, run a whole new line and so uh, we're gonna walk through how I do this and see if it works now one of the mistakes a lot of people make is anytime you're hooking up accessories like a winch or anything um, for these buggies is they don't disconnect the battery that is extremely important because if you were to um, you know, short circuit these, you know, negative hit positive, um, you can blow that fuse and you're back in the same thing that I am. So anytime that you're hooking up lights, anytime you're hooking up, um, especially the winch, because that's direct to battery, be sure to disconnect the battery. So the first before I start working on this is I am going to disconnect that battery and I'm gonna take it out just so I have access. And as with many things, 10 millimeter is what removes your battery. I've already disconnected the negative side of the battery, so now I'm gonna move on to the positive. Now to get the bracket out that holds the battery in, it's, you see that bolt way down in there. That's also a 10 millimeter, so I've got a 10 millimeter on a long extension. And if you don't wanna lose your bolts, that's what these are here for. Now on this, that one bolt on that side actually holds the whole battery in. There's only one bolt, you know, there's not one back here that's hard to get to either, so you can just pull that whole battery out. Now with that battery out, I've got a lot more room to get to this fuse 
you can see it right there it's got the uh, corrugated tubing around it and wrap so I'm gonna I'm going to unwrap all of that so that I can get access so I can cut that out um, and then we'll start wiring in the new connectors that's going to uh, that circuit breaker now as I'm getting into this I'm seeing that this bracket the, the, the bottom bracket that holds the battery in it'd be easier to get to that line you can see it running back here it goes underneath this way if I was to take that out of there well it appears that there's a bolt right there and there's a bolt over here if I take those out that whole thing will come out and that'll give me more access for on putting that uh, those uh, those uh, uh, crimp uh, fittings that go on to the circuit breaker so I'm gonna take that out next by the way those two bolts are actually a 14 millimeter so you need a 14 mil in order to uh, take out those so what I've chosen to do here rather than pulling that completely up and out of there because now I have total access to that line that I need to do my uh, cramps on is I just set it to the side because there are a couple little wires it's got those little plastic things that you know uh, hold wires in place I'm just kind of pushing it to the side because I've got plenty of access to that line now and like I did on the front part of this I cut that loom off there's black tape that holds it on you can see it's kind of wrapped around there I'm just gonna cut that black tape off and slip that loom off for just um, a little ways so I can cut that fuse out of there so it looks like Polaris put um, you know that black tubing on there. It's not the one that's got the split down it. Um, so I had to cut it back a little bit so I could expose that there. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that fuse out of there next. That's my neighbor. Grilling and drinking beer. So I've got that, uh, that fuse cut out and I'm just gonna check, um, I'm gonna do a continuity test just to confirm that was it so I'm gonna do a continuity test if you see here there's a connection okay so now I'm gonna take my old fuse here and see if I got continuity and I have nothing so that was for sure was the problem so as you saw before it comes with these connectors so I'm gonna cut those wires back to get that those to fit on there and not only will I crimp it I will probably also uh, put some solder on that heat it up so it's soldered in there also so I've got the top one done now I didn't actually solder it in once I crimped it down with some uh, terminal uh, pliers um, it was in there really tight so I put the loom back on it wrapped it with tape so that's the one that goes directly from the battery terminal now I'm gonna put it uh, uh, put the one on the bottom and when you cut that wire back you want to cut it back about the same distance as you see the depth on this okay so you'll see that um, here's my wire here that way whenever you slide it over um, you can see that it fits down inside whoops let me move my thumb there uh, good I'll put that piece of wire back up in there before I crimp it down and then I'll put that loom back over it put some tape over it so now I'm gonna uh, put the um, the breaker in now it comes um, some of those extra copper uh, copper washers there and you can see where these here it has the uh, um, the nut on there so I'm gonna actually make sure that that uh, put those two two each on each one of those so that crimps in there real tight and I believe yep that is also a 10 millimeter on those so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna hook it up to the bottom one first because that's the hardest one to get to so I'm gonna put one of those uh, one of those copper washers on there let me grab the nut here um, you can see it's kind of tight here um, I would have liked that to have been longer but this is where we're at so there's that I'm going to place one on top of that crimp or that terminal and I am going to put the nut on there And so I've got that one hooked up. Now I'm gonna hook up the top one, same thing. Now one of the things I didn't tell you is that before I put this on there, I did set this uh, my ba uh, battery uh, basket or bracket back in there just because I knew this was supposed to run underneath that. Um, but I did do that, let's see here. 
So now uh, you can see I've got it hooked up on both sides. Now, ideally these are actually made to be mounted. There's some holes in here and it comes with some set screws mounted down to something. Um, I may or may not mount it, I don't know. We'll see once I get the battery in. Um, but I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm just gonna let it hang there. There's a reset. You can see on here, like if it's tripped, it push that little thing will pop out and then to reset it, you just push it back in, okay? So what I'm going to do now is put the bolts back in this before I put the battery in. All right, so I got the bracket all back in there. As you can see, um, we go through some pretty deep crap around here. But since I got those battery terminals off, I'm going to clean those terminals up real good before I hook the battery back up. And I couldn't find my battery terminal cleaner, so I just used some sandpaper, but I got them cleaned up. All right, so I got the battery back in. Now, one of the things you see, I've got those bare terminals that are sticking out. Um, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to cover that in um, some of that liquid shrink wrap just so those aren't fully exposed because again you can see how dirty we get. We get in some deeper stuff sometimes because I don't want that um, corroding or anything on there. But first thing I'm going to do before I do all that is I'm going to hook everything up and make sure it's working. Alright so the battery's hooked up. Yep. Yeah. That's a dirty battery too. I'll clean all that up before I put everything back together. Power on, for, uh, red on first, black on next. Now let's go up and see if we got, if we got continuity now. Okay. Before I check for voltage, let me see if I got continuity. So now I'm gonna check for voltage, see if I got anything there. Let's, oh, I'm gonna get a touch there. That's a lot of voltage, but uh, we'll see what happens when I start it. So I've got 30 freaking volts going through there. That might be a little too, uh, too high, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But I've got power going to my winch now. So I'm not a uh, electrical expert when it comes to these. I just know that my winch works now, uh, and I had blown that uh, direct there too. So that circuit breaker does work. It does show 30 volts through there, and maybe that's normal. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I know that it works. So uh, hopefully this will help somebody. And if anybody's got comments and don't want to you know, correct anything that I did, feel free to. Like I said, I'm not an expert. And there's always going to be those naysayers on there too. So anyway, have a good day.